This is a story about me doing something romantic slash creepy but overall thoughtful for my ex. The story begins August 23rd, 2012, the date of my final exam of my first semester of graduate school. And after that final exam, I decided to be like, not after, I was like, you know, after that final exam was over, I'm going to start being social and like give my social life a chance. And, and to kick that off, I went to, um, that night I went to a uh, party that uh, like the class was holding uh, um, in Las Olas to celebrate the end of the semester. I stayed there until like 2 a.m., uh, came home, and next day was Friday. Friday was like D-Day, the day that I was supposed to like um, just execute the the plan that I had, um, the, like the special thing that I was supposed to do for my ex. And Friday started out like waking up a bit early, showering, eating, and putting up, putting on all my motorcycle gears. And um, the cool thing about that is when you put everything on, the only part of, of me you can see is like this neck part right here. And so my identity is very well um, hidden. So uh, I gear up, I head out the door, um, go to the nearest gas station, pick up a rose, put the rose in my backpack, head to her workplace. I go to her workplace and the thing about where she works is that there is like a conjoined building that has two entrances um, and I entered into the wrong hole, um, the wrong through the wrong door and um, and then, uh, like um, and I went to the wrong store basically because it's two different stores just like conjoined and I was like, oh, she's not here and whatever. So I texted a mutual friend. Her name is Pepper. Um, so I texted Pepper and I was like, hey, um, I, do you know if she's um, at work today? Because um, I didn't want to text my ex like, hey, are you at work today? Then she would know that it's me. Um, so, and, and by the way, when I went inside the store, I kept that helmet on. I know that's kind of weird to keep your helmet on inside. But the whole point of it was to keep anonymous and give her the rose. So, um... So I texted Pepper, I'm like, hey, um, can you text her and find out if she's at work? Um, and, and when you do, uh, um, say that you have a gift being delivered to her, um, um, and can she come to the front? And so my ex didn't reply, I guess, because she was at work, and um, or she didn't read the text or whatever because she was at work. And, and so I waited in the wrong store for a while, and then I was like, Okay, it's time to leave. So, as I'm going back to my bike, I see the other part of the conjoined store, and I realize, oh shit, she works there. I'm an idiot. So, I go in there, and there she is at the front um, desk clerk. Um, and and it, it was just, it was so amazing, because, like, when I was walking to my bike, I was like, you know, like, crap, I should have been more methodical in how I, you know, by making sure that she was at work and whatnot, and I thought, like, Damn, I came all the way out here and, you know, like, she'll never know. And then, like, it just made my day going to that store and seeing her. Um, and and then, then I proceeded to go into the line um, and I got a bag of chips. And um, I paid for the chips um, at her checkout, um, which was the only checkout, um, which is a good thing, I guess. Uh, and, and, and then she gave me my change and... Um, Right before turning away, I pulled the rose out of my jacket and I gave that to her. And I guess it looked very suspicious because like, it's like a masked man uh, pulling something out of his jacket in front of the clerk. So, But I, I gave the rose in front of everyone and whatnot. And, and then I proceeded to go to this like lounge area. like like That's like, I would say, 15, 20 feet away. And text my friend, Pepper, um, say, hey, I actually did this um, and whatnot. So I was texting before I was going to leave because I can't text on my bike. Um, and I was also reading the back of this sun chip, this chip right here. So uh, I was reading the back of the label. And this is, ex this is quite, uh, like me reading the back of the label is significant later on. Um, so I was texting Pepper. And um, then I saw one of her co-workers, my, one of my ex's co-workers, went to the back. And a few minutes later, the um, manager came out. I'm guessing, like, 
she told the manager and whatnot, and the manager came out, and the manager was like, hey, um, can you talk? Because I didn't say a single word until then, and I just, like, I was sitting down, so I just, like, like aimed my head towards him, and he's like, you got to take that off. And um, then I finished my text, I stood up, and I just, like, looked at him for, like, three seconds, and then I walked out. So, and, um, and, and that was the end of that interaction and that later that day 604 p.m. I get a call from my ex and I couldn't answer this call because I was outside raking but um, when I saw my phone I was like oh crap does she know that it was me and I was thinking about all the ways that she might have known that it was me and the fact that like if you know anything about me it's the fact that I'm infatuated with bikes like motorcycles um, and uh, I was like what if she suspects that I, I finally got one and whatnot. Um, and so I texted Pepper. I'm like, hey, did you tell her that it was me? And she's like, no, no, no. I told her that it was Ricardo, my friend, who delivered a rose for, like, rose from Pepper to to my ex. And um, so, so the, the, I'm not involved in any of this. Um, so I was like, cool. So I called my ex and I'm like, hey, are you okay? Because she never calls me, like, ever anymore. And so I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah, you won't believe what happened to me today. And so like immediately I knew that she didn't know that it was me and whatnot. So she proceeded to tell me about her day and how like this masked person gave her a rose and never revealed his face and whatnot and how like it made her feel special and like it made her day and, and she's still feeling the after effects of it like at, you know, at 6 p.m. and whatnot. And, um... Like, like, uh, her parents are suspicious about why she's so happy and whatever. Um, so, but, but she was like, initially she had this eerie feeling that it was me. Uh, especially when I started reading the back of the sun chips. Um, like, and, and that's very characteristic of me. Like, if you give me anything, even a bottle of water, I will read the back of the label, uh, for health reasons. And, um, and so I, I did that. No, I mean, so she was telling me about her day and whatnot, and how her coworker um, got scared, and that's why she called the uh, manager from the back and whatnot. And they, and she said that my ex said that if I had stayed longer, they would have called the police. And I was like, wow, it was not that serious, but I felt good about that, like I, because I was like, I created a scene, you know, like, and and that's what made the thing, I guess, more memorable or whatnot, because like I wasn't bothering anybody I was just sitting in the sofa lounge thing like I had my foot up and I was just texting my friends um, so I wasn't bothering anyone and I don't feel ashamed about that at all because I wasn't doing anything wrong um, so anyway uh, so I, I felt really good about making her day but I didn't know if like you know like when she finds out that it was me is she still gonna be that kind of you know it's still going to mean the same, knowing that it was, oh, it's this guy, the guy that I left. Is he still after me? Um, kind of thing. Um, but I don't know. I just, I felt the need to do that. And um, so that was that. So when I have that mask, or when I have my helmet on, I'm apparently Ricardo. Um, and uh, so that, that that's, anything else happened that day? Um, and, and, oh, and she, she texted Pepper, like, uh, she was like, if you were a guy, I would marry you because, like, because she thinks Pepper sent her that rose through a delivery boy who was Ricardo, who was me. Um, and so, so Pepper has the credit for the actions that were done. Um, and, 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 and she will continue to have that credit until, I guess, my identity is revealed. Um, and, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, like, I, I know it's creepy in, in what happened, but the fact of the matter is that that's very cool because, I, I don't know, you know, the reason that I got that visor, you see that uh, visor? Like, this one came with the uh, helmet for free. That visor cost $54, and I got it for that purpose, knowing that I would one day do something like that, and, and... And I can't believe that uh, that actually I was successful in doing that. And now, now there's another story which I'm gonna um, 
Now happened Sunday, which is today, and um, what happened that day, I'm going to talk about right now.